All right, guys, it's about that time again. You guys know what time it is. It's time to get them ready to breed. Um, and even though I'm pushing it back about a month this year, uh, due to the fact that I'm not gonna be breeding as many as I used to before, I'm um, cutting down the numbers quite a bit. I went ahead and cleaned out the hen's loft. I got everything prepared in here. Uh, in here I got one pair, uh, Narles Barkley and his daughter. A buddy of mine are going to uh, see I own Barkley and he owns the daughter uh, she was first on the loft at 500 last year or this year this old bird season uh, man he's getting to the age now where we're sort of worried he might not be filling eggs anymore so uh, we came up to the conclusion that we're gonna go ahead and cross him to his daughter and if we get something we'll fly him and then we'll split around as well uh, to keep the line going uh, as you as I've said before Barkley here is a 500 mile winner uh, an old bird series and I again she flew uh, for my buddy and she was first to loft now, she didn't win the race but she was first to his loft at the 500 on the day so I think that's what we want to keep going uh, just in case again just in case he doesn't breed he's a 2011 so he's definitely getting up there in age uh, and the size of that waddle on his face is start starting to cause issues um, I don't know if the video does it justice but I don't think I've ever seen a, a bird with a larger waddle that's why we call him Nars Barkley, because he's got a gnarly head on him. Um, and that's pretty much it. I went ahead and cleaned everything out. I got a pair of droppers in there. I just gave them the bottom box and I closed off the very bottom uh, because I was tired of chasing birds under there. So we'll give them time. Other than that, we moved the hens out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hens on a weak treatment of some four in one uh, because I can't, uh, I can't fool myself to think that they don't have anything. I've been bringing in birds lately. Uh, from auctions and things of that nature so I'm gonna put everybody down on some four and one and uh, get them going for the year I got a lot of birds still even after getting rid of most of my race team I still have a whole lot of birds and that's okay because a few lucky guys are gonna receive some in my opinion some super pigeons um, you know I'm thinking this upcoming week settle down guys settle down this upcoming week, I'm gonna ship out some birds uh, to my buddy Jack Burek in Minnesota. And this year, uh, I'm gonna partner up with my buddy from Blessings Loft, and we're gonna we're gonna share some birds. I'm gonna send them some uh, to fly for me, and I think uh, we'll see how this year goes. Probably next year, I'm gonna ask for a few to fly in my loft and see if uh, if the combination works, guys. That's all we can do. Extra cocks. Uh, some of these cocks are gonna be used as pumpers uh, others I'm working on some uh, color projects this year I'll take you guys along with that as well I still got my original almond cock we're gonna put him on a nice hen this year from Jack uh, I think I think it's gonna be a nice uh, nice setup there nice color mating so we'll see we'll go for lastly guys the 12 cock birds that we'll be moving forward with this year I'm trying to sneak in here without scaring them too bad uh, these birds here are the same birds we've had in the past uh, maybe with the exception of a couple that I've brought in uh, as you can see I'm using that top box which I do not like to use uh, but unfortunately uh, gingerbread man here hurt his wing a few years ago and he can't fly very well so he uses that second box from the bottom to jump up onto the landing board and then jump into his box uh, so with that being said I don't want to put a bird in there even though there's a checker in there right now uh, I'm gonna avoid putting a bird in there just to give him that space and that's fine He's been such a super breeder for me. It seems like every year he's either breeding a winner or a top position pigeon. And then his daughters have been real good breeders, uh, both for myself and for Mark at Red Star. If you guys remember that beautiful checker that won the 200 for him as a uh, grandson off of Gingerbread Man. So he earns those two boxes. I have no issues with that. Uh, again, I like to win all races. So I like to have a family that will put me anywhere between 100 to 300. And then I also have plenty of stock birds in here that'll take me 400 or 300 plus in young birds. So, like I said, guys, we'll, when we bring in the hens, uh, we'll go into a little more detail of what I'm putting together this year. So far, uh, these are the 12 I'm moving forward with. And that's not to say that the ones I'll be handing out are any different. In fact, those are probably uh, sons and daughters off of these main birds here uh, because I want to spread the, 
the family out a little bit and if they end up doing well I know that I can always bring in a grandson granddaughter or, or even bring the birds back if I need to cross to a father or a mother or something like that so I like to sort of keep that family going even though I don't have the, the you know nece necessarily have the space for everything I want to keep I know if I work with the with the you know a couple awesome guys that will test the birds and then they'll let me know how they do and we can you know flip flop birds from there uh, but that's pretty much it guys we'll uh we'll make another one here when we add it in the hens and we'll go into more detail of what we're uh what we'll be bringing for next year two rounds is what i'm hoping for what i'm shooting for uh if the numbers don't equal out i may push for a third round which i i still plenty of time to go even with the later start of the season i can still bring a third round i'm not a fan of third round youngsters uh, i've never had real good luck with third rounders they do well but they don't they're not on top because they're so late bred compared to some of the birds that are, are in the races that are you know upwards of eight nine months old uh, but nonetheless if we absolutely need to push for a third round we can i'll have a few extra pump repairs to move birds over and things of that age or so we'll go down that route if we have to guys we'll see you on the next one